Hi, in this slide, uh, when we look at a whale curve, certain immediate questions should come to mind. First of all, on the front end of the whale curve, we're sort of stunned at how few core accounts we have that are making an enormous percent of our profits. 5% of the accounts might be generating 35 to 50% of our operating profit. One client where one customer is generating 25% of their operating profit. So we'd hate to lose them. So rather than being defensive, let's be offensive. How do we take our value proposition for these customers to the next level, understand them more deeply, build a, a, a bigger multi-strand rope between all our people and their key people so that if one strand pops, we still keep the relationship. Uh, then at the other extreme, we'll notice typically about 1% of the customers are destroying, eating up about 20% of our internal peak profits. Now, what's interesting about these super losing customers is they have imposed upon us a sort of a dysfunctional, if you will, way of buying. Often they're hyper-focused on one metric and it turns out to have a lot of uh, downside hidden costs to it. So basically it's a it's a lose-lose. We have a very high cost to serve. They have a very high total procurement cost and or a large downtime as opposed to uptime economic within their business. So how do we turn a lose-lose relationship into a win-win? And by doing that, the customer gets so excited because of all the hidden savings they get that they want to give us more share of their account. So it gets even better. To di diagnose as to why we are losing uh, on this, these accounts, it helps to have deeper dive cross-reference analytics. So if we can get a little P&L for the customer, if we can see the 210 SKUs, different items they bought in the last year from the most profitable to the most unprofitable item, if we look at all their invoices for most profitable, unprofitable, and go to the bottom and look at the rush emergency orders for $1, $2 widgets repetitively, and it's those widgets that are the biggest losing items, what is going on in their business that would create that pattern? Because the local distributor knows the customer, knows the item, very quickly they go, oh, you know what's going on. And then there is a workaround solution that'll help us and them reduce enormous amounts of transactional activity costs on both sides of the fence and improve their uptime, et cetera. The, what we don't see on the whale curve is the dynamic upside. In other words, we're assuming that, that for all of our customers, we have an equally good share of customer, when in fact there's lots more upside in many of these big accounts whether they be winners or losers, because once we fix the losers, we love to have some upside there too. So when we do our core renewal, we find out that not only are we fixing the losers, but we're getting a lot more upside uh, volume from both winners and losers. But part of why we can't do this is we're so busy, distracted by a sea of small, statistically speaking, growing nowhere customers. And if we have outside salespeople and we provide trade credit that involves paperwork and three-way matches in our office and their office for trade credit and check clearing and so forth, then we have a service model that's too expensive for the margin dollars that these customers have to spend, uh, particularly in uh, a monthly bite or whatever they need. And so we need a different service model for them. And in the meantime, we're giving them more service costs than we're getting margin dollars, so we're dying uh, by a thousand nicks. So the question then comes, how do we separate out these customers, save the few that could be big and just buying occasionally from us nibbling, or some that might be growing rapidly and could grow into becoming a viable account for our typical outside sales, full service for service model. And uh, so if we break these customers into subsets, best customers, worst customers, small customers, and deal with them each in their, their respective way, uh, we get a lot more sales volume on the upside, a lot more profitability in all three categories. So those are the questions and some of the answers that we'll be looking into. Thank you.